What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Universal Mastery. Welcome back to my public YouTube channel. Now, if you're new, let me give you a little bit of a understanding of what I do here on my YouTube channel, okay? I break down the occult sciences and I break them down to a very practical level so that you can simply use them and apply them in your day-to-day -day life and get real actual results with the things that I am teaching here simply by applying your observation and awareness, okay? Let me also give you a little bit of a perspective of who I am just so that you know who you're getting this information from. Once again, if you are a newcomer to my YouTube channel, my name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. I am fully initiated in the entirety of the Kabbalistic tree. I'm studied when it comes to the 22 major arcana of the tarot deck. And I'm also studied when it comes to planetary energies in direct association with astrology. Okay? So what is the topic of our today's video? This is going to be a very, very important topic. This is going to be something that is uh, extremely simple to do and can take you so far in your evolutionary self development. So specifically, what we're going, to, what we are going to be focusing on within this YouTube video is the power that you can gain psychologically, emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually from fasting. Okay, so I'm going to be going into depth about my own personal experience with fasting with the intention of gaining psychic power and gaining evolutionary power that's followed with uh, evolutionary awareness. And I'm also just in general going to speak about some of the benefits as to why fasting can be extremely important if it's something that you end up taking on and using. Okay, so if this is something that you're interested in, obviously, the only thing left for you to do is stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about it. So from my own personal experience, okay? I have fasted many times throughout my life, okay? There was times in my life where I fasted and it wasn't really even my intention to fast. It was something that I just naturally did because I thought I wasn't, you know, I just thought not eating food would be a good thing. This was more so during the earlier stages of my life. There was times where I just wouldn't eat certain types of foods for a prolonged amount of time. And naturally that put me into a fasted state. And I wasn't even aware of really what fasting was and the importance or the benefits of fasting. Once again, that was more so towards the earlier stages of my life. Now so that I'm getting a little bit older and more mature in regards to my personal self-awareness, I have incorporated what I like to call active intentional fasting with the purpose of evolutionary self-development and gaining evolutionary power from fasting. Now, let's talk about it. Why have I fasted and what did it do for me? Okay, so I remember about three years ago, uh, actually, probably a little bit over three and a half years ago, maybe four years ago at this point, I did a very intentional fast. And my intention was to fast for, I believe it was around, I wanted to go for like a week long. That was my intention. Okay. So obviously, the type of fasting that I w was uh, intending to do was a no food whatsoever day after day consistent fast. So that means an entire week 
with no food except for water. And my primary intention was to gain evolutionary power and evolutionary self-development. Now, I did this fast and around the day three of having no food, I was in a state of mind where I felt like I was physically dying, okay? I literally, my body was weak. It started shaking. I didn't have energy to even perform my daily duties that I thought were so important and so necessary to perform. So naturally, after that day three of complete fasting, I ended up eating on the fourth day, okay? Because at the time when I first intentionally did this fast, I didn't know what to expect. So as I said, on that day three of no food, I started getting weak. I started getting fatigued. And my mindset started to, to become extremely lucid. My psychic perception was very lucid. I was able to tap into my unconscious and subconscious to a degree that I was not expecting to be able to tap into. Okay, so naturally, this made me a little bit concerned because my analytical, logical, and objective mind started to kick in and say, you need to have your energy, your strength, and your logic back in order to perform your daily duties of life. So as I said, on that fourth day, I ended up eating, and I saw very profoundly how food changes the chemistry and the chemical makeup within your body to such a profound degree that it is literally why you behave the way that you behave. It's the reason why you think the way you think, and it's the reason why you feel the way you feel, all due to your own nutritional makeup, your own daily food habitual consumption. So what I really learned was two primary things from experimenting with this fasting that lasted for me only three days. I learned that on that third day, I was tapped into such a profound degree of my own unconscious and subconscious that all of objective reality, all of universe A, the illusionary aspects of reality started to dissipate and dissolve from my desire. And what I mean by this is none of those things matter to me, okay? I was able to see the illusionary aspects of the multiverse and see how pathetic they are in regards to when people get so overly consumed by them. I could see how people would waste energy on some of the most unbeneficial things in their day-to-day -day life because they have an excess amount of energy that is being produced from the calories and the nutritional makeup from their daily diets. So when I was not eating, I was able to get to a very deep primal state within myself, once again, as I said, connected directly to a deep level of the unconscious and subconscious, and I was able to reach a stillness in mind, which is very scary, if you haven't experienced that before. It is very scary for the first time when you experience that stillness. And as I said, it felt like I was dying when in reality, I was in a state of pure silence. I was in a state of pure peace. And on a um, health level, I was in an extremely anti-inflammatory state. I was probably the most healthy I've ever been not eating in three days. Although my analytical, objective, logical mind wanted to find reasons as to why that wasn't okay and why I needed to do something and why I needed to eat food, the reality is I was, in an, I was in an extremely healthy state and I was in a process of very profound healing, okay, during that three-day fast. Now, a lot of people don't know but there is actual bacteria 
that is within your body that actually has a mind of its own. And it's connected to something in your guts, which is known as the vagus nerve, which is a nerve that runs from your guts within your GI tract that connects to your brain. So the saying, trust your guts, actually makes a lot more sense when you understand the science of the GI tract. Okay. And I am a personal trainer. Uh, excuse me. I, uh, I was a personal trainer. I am certified in this moment as a professional personal trainer. I went to personal training school that was also intertwined with nutrition. And I learned a lot of these internal sciences from that level of study. So I'm not speaking to you as someone who is, you know, just speaking on a whim here. I'm not a professional when it comes to uh, being a nutritionalist. I'm not here giving you nutritional advice, but I'm definitely not a beginner when it comes to understanding some of the internal processes that go on within your microbiome in regards to the GI tract. So as I'm saying, there is a nerve within your stomach that literally connects to your brain known as the vagus nerve. You can look it up. And with all the bacteria that are in your gut, they affect your own vagus nerve, which causes you to think, act, and feel a certain type of way. And what a lot of people don't know is that this bacteria that's in your stomach is very helpful. It helps to fight off viruses, it helps you to digest your food, and it does a multitude of other things. But then, if you have too much bacteria or if your bacteria is out of balance, there's all different types of bacteria in your stomach. That's something you want to know. And if it's out of balance or if there's too much bacteria in general, to any degree, this starts to extremely impact your mental capabilities. It extremely impacts your behavior, your emotional state, and your psychological self-development. And this is one of the main reasons why in the real world today, most of our foods are filled with nutritional value that is meant to destroy your GI tract. Talking about GMOs, talking about high sugar, high refined carbs that are in most of the modern diet of the Westerner in our today's time. And this even goes outside of just the West as well. Okay. Any fast food place you go to, consuming processed foods, processed meats, processed breads even, liquid candy, soda, lemonade, you name it. You drink a coffee with tons of sugar, you name it. This is destroying the microbiome. Okay, with excess out of moderation use of these refined carbs, refined sugars, and unhealthy fats, being used in, on a consistent basis, part of your everyday nutritional habits, this destroys your microbiome, which affects your vagus nerve. It can produce something that's called a leaky gut, which means you're not even digesting food properly, and the nutrition that comes from your food is being eaten by the bacteria that is in your own stomach, in your own digestive tract, in your own gut, and the nutrition's not even going to you anymore. It's not even traveling to your brain and going through your bloodstream. The bacteria is eating it. And this affects you on many different levels. And a lot of people have this and they don't even know they have it. Okay? So, what I'm trying to make clear here is that you have bacteria in your GI tract that is intelligent. Some is good, some is bad. Too much is bad, too little is also bad. You need a balance and you need to do your own research on how to find a good balance within your microbiome. And you're obviously going to want to study from professionals who are certified in the field of the microbiome. Okay, a great place, a great starting place for you is to study people like Dr. Stephen Gundry on YouTube or Thomas DeLowry on YouTube. Dr. Stephen Gundry or Thomas DeLowry, okay? Just type in Thomas DeLowry Keto or Dr. Stephen Gundry Keto. They'll pop up. These are great people that understand the microbiome, okay? So 
when you, and this is where it all ties into fasting. When you fast, your body starts to kill the bacteria that is within your microbiome that is not serving you. It is the natural process of your body getting back to its balanced, baseline, default, healthy state. So fasting alone, consuming water with the fast, even I would say add a little bit of apple cider vinegar would be nice. You are going through a process of major detox that is going to kill off viruses, that is going to kill off bacteria that is within your body that is out of balance and that is not serving you. Now, when you're in the midst of that fast, you can go through detox like symptoms from that overgrowth or out of balance bacteria that does die off. The bacteria literally has a mind of its own and it likes to release toxins in your bloodstream when it dies. And that can feel extremely uncomfortable. It can make you even more tired. It can make you feel sick. It can make you feel depressed, things in that nature. But that's a byproduct of killing them off and getting back to a healthy baseline. Okay. And these are things that can take place from the simple act of fasting. Okay. So on that level, fasting can help transform you to such a profound degree when it comes to your mental state, your emotional state, your psychological state, and obviously that's all going to impact your spiritual state. And that's on top of those perspectives that I just shared when you start to notice how illusionary the world is, how illusionary the physical plane is, and how people get so caught up in things that actually have no real substance and no real meaning to their own self-development. They get caught in universe A and they think that's all that matters rather than going inside and feeling what's inside of them and starting to understand and, ex uh, and experience, embrace, you could say, their own unconscious and subconscious. All from fasting. Now, there are many different types of fasting, okay? There is intermittent fasting, which is fasting from about one hour all the way up to 16 hours a day. So this would be something along the lines of you eat food at 12 p.m. is your first meal in the afternoon, and then your last meal is somewhere around 6 p.m. at night. Okay, so from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., and then from 6 p.m., let's say hypothetically that's your last meal, you do not eat for the rest of the night, you go to sleep. Let's say you sleep for eight hours. You wake up in the morning. You go for your morning routine. You get your cup of coffee, black coffee, no sugars, no calories. So you stay in the fasted state. And then your next meal happens again at 12 p.m. So that gives you what? Seven. So we're going to count from 6 p.m. the last time you ate. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That would be an 18-hour fast if you follow that routine. But to do intermittent fasting properly, all you need is 14 hours. So we just counted 18. So even if, you, even if your last meal was at 8 p.m. and your first meal was at 12 p.m. in the afternoon, you would still be in an intermittent fasting state. And the majority of that fast or a huge portion of that fast is actually coming from when you're sleeping. And this is sort of what you could consider a biohack, okay? A hack to your evolutionary internal programming. Because fasting, as I just described, is so healthy. It will always reset you, okay? But it can be very challenging and it can be very difficult to do. So let's make sure that's understood. Now, let's talk about this, the spiritual benefits, the psychic benefits from fasting. So as I said, when you're fasting, the most profound psychic benefit that you're going to get is you're going to realize all the things that you're attached to mentally, logically, intellectually, and objectively start to literally fade away. 
And this is more so talking about if you're doing a consistent daily fast. So if you're planning on fasting for an entire week, or even if you do what I did with the only three days, you will notice by that maybe even the second day or the third day without eating any food, you will notice how things start to completely shift in your thought process. Think, I'm telling you right now, the things that you think matter right now will start to completely shift and dissolve once you hit that day three of a complete fast. And the experience that you can have internally and externally when that dissolving takes place can literally stay with you for the rest of your physical life. Okay, that is a very evolutionary experience to be able to observe because it will teach you the things that you think matter the most actually do not matter whatsoever when you don't have the energy to care about objective reality and you're left with yourself in a state of silence to observe your unconscious and subconscious to understand it better which is more so in association with your own soul. It gives you a perspective of that true state of your own soul, which is the nothingness. And then from the nothingness, then you can create. So once you understand your true nature, then it makes sense to operate in the illusionary universe A multiverse because you're creating from the source of your own energetic being. You're creating from the nothing. You're creating from the nothing. God said, let there be light, correct? Which is inferring there was darkness, there was nothing before there was illusions, before there was light. And they're both essential, light and darkness. But you need to understand the source of your own energetic makeup before you can properly manifest on the physical plane in the multiverse as we speak. And fasting can help you learn that. And it's also primarily going to show you how important the foods are that you're eating. Because when you're fasting and you're getting to that state of weakness and you're getting to that state of silence, you're getting to that deep, unconscious, subconscious, lucid, psychic state, the second you decide you're going to eat food again, you're going to see how that food literally produces the thoughts, the beliefs, and the ideas that you have. And this is a extremely important awareness to have to recognize how important the foods are that you are consuming and how important the nutrition is that you're consuming. Okay? So these are the benefits of fasting. I would recommend it. You could gain a lot of value from it. Make sure you are understanding that it is going to be challenging. It's not going to be easy, but you will benefit from the results energetically speaking and physically speaking, if you embrace it and have the experience. Okay, make sure if you're going to do it though, stay hydrated. And I would also recommend, um, as I said, putting um, apples, a little bit of apple cider vinegar in your waters and also having salt. If you can put a little bit of salt in your waters, um, this will help you re retain the water, retain the hydration. Okay. So other than that, that's going to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Also, if you enjoy the content that I post on my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the notification bell because with information, with value like this, you don't want to miss out. And oftentimes you'll see that I post videos exactly when you need to see them at the right time, okay? Right when you're thinking about them. Simply hit the notification bell and test me. See if, see if that's true, okay? Then, if you are consuming my content, and once again, if it's offering you value, hit the subscribe button, because if you're not yet subscribed, then you're not even linked into the content. You're not getting the most out of the content. So link in, hit the subscribe button, okay? Now also, add me on Instagram. Extremely easy to add me, J-E-R underscore 477. I mean, easy to type in. And then see what I post on social media. Go ahead, check me out on the social medias, okay? Simply by adding me on Instagram. Now, I also want to say this. You have my full permission to copy and paste this link and send it out to anyone, family, friends, social media platforms that you feel like this information and this content would offer value to. 
okay? My intent is to spread this information and spread this content like a wildfire. So let's do it. And it has been, okay? It's been working. The next thing I would like to say is if you would like to join a private Facebook community, scroll down in the YouTube description, click the little drop down, just scroll down a bit. You will see a post that says private Facebook community. Underneath that post, there's a link. Click the link, follow where the link takes you, and then you can request to join within the private Facebook group where there are over 350 plus members and it is active daily. And there is tons of valuable information that gets posted within that private group as well. So if that's something you're interested in, request to join and I will add you in, okay? Now, here's the most important link that I wanna take your awareness to within the entirety of the YouTube description. Click the little drop down. It's the first link at the top. You obviously can't miss it. Right next to it, it says Patreon. That's gonna take you to the Patreon. Now on the Patreon, I have an entire vault of exclusive occult content that is not on my public YouTube channel, and that is for many different reasons, okay? Right now, there are 170 plus members, and it is actively growing, and it's actively thriving. I have content that ranges from live streams, blog posts, and videos that are very similar to this, okay? Then for tier three, you gain access to an entire magic training course, which takes you step by step in regards to the process of developing psychic capabilities and psychic powers, which is extremely valuable for any beginners that are just getting into the occult field to start going through. And then it goes all the way up to tier four, which is what I call the Universe B Vampire Service. And this is the most popular tier on my Patreon. And what I do, and this is also the only service that I perform for anybody, what I do is on the 29th of every single month for the top tier members i perform a ritual that is that is specifically designed to transform your entire energetic structure to be more universe be dominant which means you become more receptive you pull in more and when it comes to dark energy and when it comes to chaos within yourself and in uh, and in your environment you start to turn it into your own power and potential as you pull it in, as you become receptive to it, okay? And that's why it's called the Universe B Vampire Service. So rather than being more so objectively Universe A dominant and having dark energy and chaos affect you in an unbeneficial way, the service trains your energy field and also influences your own soul to start being more receptive so you start embracing your own unconscious and subconscious to an even deeper degree, which naturally increases your power over time, okay? So that's gonna wrap that up. If that's something you're interested in, look into the uh, first link in the YouTube description, check out the Patreon, okay? With that being said, I would like to give a special shout out to all the Patreon members. I highly appreciate all of you for taking your knowledge, practices, and studies to that other side. Huge shout out. Now the second link in the YouTube description, click the little drop down, you can't miss it. This is where you can book a tarot card reading. Okay, now on this tarot card reading, it is very unique. The reason is, is because I can pinpoint exactly where you are on the Kabbalistic tree. I can tell you what you're experiencing, feeling, and going through in the present moment based on your position on the Kabbalistic tree, then tell you where you're headed in the near future and a long-term future, okay? I've done over 300 readings. I get tons of valuable feedback. So if this is something you're interested in booking with me, uh, check out the second link below and do it, okay? Now the third link below is where you can become a YouTube member. As you become a YouTube member, you gain access to the Psychic Warfare Emoji Program, which gives you the ability to use specific emojis that I designed myself in a way where it's used as psychic warfare. So you can cause psychic damage to a target of your choice by the configuration of emojis that I give you and teach you how to do once you become a YouTube member, okay? So if this is something you wanna gain access to and you wanna start using one of the most simple forms of psychic warfare that actually does work and people are using it right now as we speak, then look into the third link and become a YouTube member and you also gain access to other types of benefits in regards to when I do live streams, 
okay? Shout outs, having a badge next to your name, being able to leave questions every month, all that good stuff, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. Third link in the YouTube description. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate all of you and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or night wherever you are and I'll catch you later. Peace.